Well, the tiny house is um, is livable. We've moved in. But uh, there's a few lessons I'd like to share based on my experience, vast as though it is, of tiny house living. I think the first lesson, uh, if you're going to move into a tiny house, collect everything that you own and get rid of half of it. We have far too much stuff and far too little space to put it. After you've sold the first half, take the second half and halve it again and sell half. Seriously, where are we putting all this stuff? The second lesson is um, if you have a lot of freestanding furniture, it's probably a bad idea. Get rid of that first. You really do need to be doing built-ins. There's a lot of dead space here. Up above the doors, uh, in the higher reaching areas, especially up here at the front, there's a lot of wasted space. The plan is to put um, shelving across the top here. This is also going to act as a bracing for the wall. Probably should have been pre-done a lot of it. There'll be shelving here. A freestanding bed is also a pretty bad idea because this is completely wasted space and you don't want wasted space in a tiny house. So this should be a prefab, a prefab double deck bed. So the upper space becomes a loft style bedroom and then a regular bed down there and storage would be uh, underneath. So there is plenty of work still left to do. The whole kitchen area has to be built. We've got two tree stumps removed but we've got a third to get out. And that's probably the third lesson. Um, don't underestimate how much work is actually going to be required even though it's such a small house. If you're doing it yourself uh, you're going to be in for the long haul. Just building the frame and having it stand up, that's not the finish, that's only the beginning. All of this has to be finished off, all the land now has to be prepared, a fence has to go in. As I said, the kitchen still has to be finished, we're using the deck at the moment as a makeshift kitchen. So yeah, just don't underestimate what it's going to take to actually build your own house. Um, but do enjoy the, enjoy the journey of doing it. It's definitely, it's definitely worth it. The experience is definitely worth, you know, banging your thumb with a hammer. And uh, you won't regret it. I guess the fourth lesson, if there is one, um, just have confidence that you can actually build it. If you've never done anything like this before, <clears throat> you know, just just Google it. Just look it up on YouTube. Ask questions. Ask for help. Just back yourself that, you know, you can actually get this done. It's, um, it is a challenge, but it's a rewarding one. And the fact that you've actually done it yourself, um, you know, get help when you need it. But the satisfaction of actually having achieved something um, just don't doubt yourself. Just believe you can do it. And uh, you can own your own house. Like, literally own it. Um, we have no debt. I think that's the whole point of a tiny house. Is to get you started. Is to get you onto a property. Get you under shelter. And, and not go into a huge amount of debt um, in the process. So just to have the confidence, just back yourself, have the confidence that you can do it. So that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.